Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a one session cold wax and oil painting. I want to see if I can get this to a place that I like and want to stay at in one session. That's not always easy with cold wax and it may not happen, but that's kind of what I'm going to go for here. I started with a Soho Urban Artist painting board. Um, it's 12 by 16. It doesn't come pre-primed, so I primed it with a coat of gesso, which I have on my hands. <laughs> That's okay. And I used, first I used the Da Vinci Fluid Acrylic. Um, this is Rose Matter Quinacridone, and it was like just way too pink because I put it on with the wet gesso. You can see it under here. It's quite pink. I wanted more of a red undertone and the reason that I put the paint in with the gesso is so later when I scrape back through the cold wax and oil I'm not scraping back to white I'm I have a color under there that I know is going to go with my color palette of my cold wax and then so I went over the top with what is this I can't see it Allerzen Crimson Quinacridone um, also a Da Vinci Fluid Acrylic. So, and then I dried it. So it's really dry. Some of this just out here isn't dry, but that's not going to hurt anything. I have freezer paper on my desk so that it's a messy process. At least I'm messy with it. I covered my painting board, the Masonite painting board with freezer paper and then I taped my paper to the freezer paper. This will give me a nice white border around the edge of my paper and it also keep the back of my paper clean and free from any cold wax and oil. If I just put my paper just down here on the surface as it gets turned and moved it's going to pick up whatever is off the sides and it'll be all over the back of my paper. So that's why I do that. And I think I'm pretty much, if you can see the blue tape, yeah, pretty much all in frame here. So I will try to keep it. I put little pieces of blue tape there so I know if I get too far off for you guys, I can move it back. The other thing I did before I started is I covered my hands and underneath my fingernails with Art Guard. That'll just make it easier in the end, a little easier anyway. To get the stuff off my hands. You can see there's a white film around my nails. That's the art guard. That's just so. <laughs> but it just makes it a little easier in the end. So I am going to leave you for a minute and mix up my piles of cold wax and oil paints and then I'll be back and we'll start on this painting. Okay I'm back. I have all my colors mixed to my right over here. Um, and my camera is overhead so I can't really show you but I mixed about 50-50. I'm using the Gamblin cold wax medium and I am using water mixable oil colors. So I mixed titanium white. I have several different brands here. Um, ivory black. I mixed Indian red with just a tad of purple red in it. I have raw sienna, vermilion, and scarlet. So a warm color palette. I'm going to, I have um, a catalyst wedge, a Messermeister silicone scraper, um, just some other tools. I have this saw edge tool that is fun to use. Um, palette knives, you'll see me pull out. A few things but I'm just going to get a, an initial layer down here first and I'll probably just speed I can see there was some black in there but that's okay I'll probably just speed this up a bit and you can just watch the process because it's basically just scraping it on if there's something that I want to point out to you then I will come back on and tell you.
this is when I wish I could take the heat tool to it and dry this layer, but I'm having a hard time seeing my taped edges here. For what I think is on my canvas isn't, so I'm going to clean the edge off a little bit here. Try not to wipe off my painting. Okay, so my thought is I'm liking where it's going, however, this isn't going to get done in one session because it's going to, I want more layers and it's going to need to dry overnight so I can put another layer on. So anyways, it was a ambitious thought, <laughs> but not very realistic, I guess. Let's hit it with some Gamsol. I have it in a oiler boiler bottle. And I'm just going to put drops on here. I love the look this gives. It doesn't always work. It just depends on whether the paint has set up or not. Um, just kind of a magic formula. <laughs> how long you wait, how much you put on, how dry is your paint. It just doesn't always work. Usually wait around 20 seconds, so we'll see what happens. Some are working, some are not. That one just smeared. In the light so I can see where I put the dots. No, oh, that took too much off. Shouldn't have have done that. Working better where I'm just going where the spots are. Try to get a straight edge on that little square, but but I didn't. Just trying to use up the paint I have left here now. Okay, I am going to leave this overnight because if I just keep playing with it now, I'm not going to like it. 
What I might do though is grab a skewer and knowing that I'm going to put more layers through here. Some of this will get covered up, but let's scrape back to that pink layer. This one not so much, can't really see it that much. I'm just going to go back through in that area. You can see it right there across the white a little bit better. I think maybe, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I have this piece of hardware cloth I guess I, it is. I don't know if it'll leave an impression in here or not. We're gonna see. No, not really. Maybe if I scraped wet paint through it. We might as well try that, right? Let's try. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe what I'll do is I'm gonna put the paint on the hardware cloth. use white but I'm all out of white I don't know if this is going to work or not but you know me I love to I'll try anything once all right I'm gonna put it down here and just roll over it well that's kind of interesting Not exactly like the diamonds, but I like that. Yay! Now we need to put it somewhere else, too. A little bit of pattern there. I'm going to put some more paint on there. I'm probably totally ruining my brayer. There's a lot of paint on it. Got some of those spots there. Two. Now, the other thing I can do, let me get my brayer back. Well, maybe I don't need the brayer. Um, I'm going to, I need a smaller piece of this, just take this bubble wrap and press it into this area. And that didn't do anything but take the paint off, so. But what I can do is take the paint that's on here and move it over here. So that's kind of cool. I like that. It left a little bit of texture there, but it didn't really leave an impression. And maybe if I have any white left. Where's my tape? i just go for a row there if I can. No, but there's a little bit of texture there, so that's okay. There's not much paint left on there. Okay, but there's a lot you can do with cold wax. Um, lots of tools you can use. I have some, I guess they're pottery tools. But like I could just scrape through here and just make some cool marks with this. And this is where it kind of scrapes back to the because it's wet, so wet, it just scrapes back to the initial layer I put down with the acrylic. But I like that solid, so I'm just going to go back over that. Just like that. Um, you know, there's lots of tools you can use. There's lots of things you can do. It's just all up to you and your imagination and I'm kind of liking where this is going so I have to think on it and see after I look at it tomorrow what else I would like to do and maybe I'll just leave it you never know sometimes just not looking at it for a while helps you make a decision okay 
that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, I will be doing more cold wax paintings um, in the future. I've been away from it for a while and I missed it. I love to play with it. I'm not great. I mean, there's some awesome cold wax artists out there that really know what they're doing. I'm just playing, really. But I just get it to a point where I like it, and then I say it's done. And, you know, if somebody wants to buy it, that's great. And if not, it just goes in my cupboard. <laughs> so it's just all, you know, I, I like to do a little bit of everything. So oh, the other thing you can use, too, are these R&F pigment sticks. Um... They're handmade oil paints in stick form. They come in different colors and different sets. So, thanks again. Go make some art. Bye.